morning, welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.17.1. We're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up just enough items in this video. What does just enough items do? Well, it is a really, really cool mod that basically allows you to see quickly and easily all the different crafting recipes, all the different items in uh, Minecraft, not just in vanilla Minecraft, but it works with mods as well. So, so many mods out there uh, have the ability to work with just enough items for you to be able to see their crafting recipes recipes you can then easily import these crafting recipes into crafting tables and quickly craft different items it's amazing we love just enough items and today in this video we will be showing you exactly how to get it first one was that we do have a smart sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server we actually have just apex so much we start our own server play our breakdowncraft.com on apex so if you want to start your very own server look no further than apex minecraft hosting check them out again at the first link down below nevertheless you're not here to get a minecraft server you are here to get just enough items so here we are on our website where you will find our in-depth just enough items tutorial this is going to be the second link down below when you click that link it's going to take you here the video you're watching right now will be up here at the top and then we can scroll down and click on the download just enough items button when we click on that it's going to take us off to the jei or just enough items download page where on the right hand side we want to come over here scroll down until we find minecraft 1.17 and then under that we have jei just enough items dash 1.17.1 that's the version we want go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that and the download will begin after a few seconds we are a bit behind on just enough items in comparison to a lot of mods we moved recently if you can't tell we're now in a different office i do apologize for any echo um working on it we're not quite there just yet but um yeah we're a bit behind on this one so i apologize normally though you could subscribe and we update you on the newest mods the week they come out usually the day they come out now let's go ahead and click the keep button in the bottom left to go ahead and keep just enough items right like so now i want to go ahead and move on to forge so forge is obviously needed to run just enough items it's needed to run most minecraft mods and so let's go ahead and once we're on the forge page this is going to be the third link down below by the way this is our in-depth guide and it will go more in depth if you have any issues we're going to cover some basic forge issues you could have but this tutorial and this article goes much more in depth than we'll be able to in the video about just enough items once you're here go and click on the green download forge button that will take us off to forge's official website where you want to make sure mc 1.17 dot one is selected as you can see it is here for us but if it isn't for you just click on 1.17 on the left hand side and then click on 1.17.1 then come under download latest here click on the installer button and then when you do that it's going to go ahead and take us off to add focus where stop put your hands up in the air don't click anything on this page whatsoever just wait about 10 seconds just sit here and wait about 10 seconds and then you want to click the red skip button that appears in the top right so click the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. And then the bottom left, you will need to keep Forge. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the same screen. And as long as it's got Forge in the title, you're safe to do so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop here, we do have just enough items, but also Forge. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge here. And by the way, if these aren't in your desktop, they can be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little one of those icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. That little one of those icons on the top bottom left. Type in downloads. You'll have this downloads. Whoop, excuse me. There it is. Downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. There it is, this downloads file folder in Windows. Go ahead and click on that, and you can drag and drop these to your desktop from your downloads folder, right like so. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and get Forge installed. Now, these logos are different. Don't worry about that either. I'm going to show you how to fix it, but let's see if we can open up Forge first. So right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK, right? Now, at this point, it should open up the mod system install for Forge. But if it doesn't open this up, or if you don't have Java, when you right-click and open with, if you don't have Java here at all, or if your logos are just broken and it's bothering you, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Just Enough Items is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java for this to work. So go ahead, download Java, go through this tutorial, quick and easy three-step tutorial, you'll be good to go. Now, at that point, you should be able to open up Forge, but your icons still may be broken, and for some of you, you still may not be able to open up forge and that means you need to run the jar fix this is also linked of course in the description down below it's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them to java making them work beautifully now we can go ahead and minimize our browser we can right click on forge again click on open with click on java and click on ok now we want to go ahead and click on mod or install client here and then click ok now it's going to download install do everything it needs to do to get forge installed in 1.17.1 once it is complete it will come up and say so but don't be alarmed if it does freeze like this at the end it does it for me all the time does it for most people it can be a little freaky but it will freeze for a second and then continue on just like so and then come up and say successfully install client profile forge for version 1.17.1 that's what we want to see click ok and it will close out of that at this point you can delete forge from your 
your desktop. You don't need it anymore. We can now move on to the Just Enough Items mod. To get this mod installed, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we don't want to hit the play button right away. What we want to do is make sure that we go ahead and actually select our Forge profile. So as you can see here, we're in the Minecraft launcher. In the bottom left, we have latest release. We don't want that. We want to click on latest release and find Forge. Now right here, Forge is for me. It's Forge. And then under it is 1.17.1-Forge. So we're good here as long as it says 1.17.1-Forge under it. You can click play, click play again, and you're good to go. For some of you, though, you won't have Forge at all or it won't be 1.17.1-Forge. In those cases, what you need to do is go to the Installations tab, and then you want to go ahead and click on New Installations here. Once you click on New Installations, it's going to open up this, where you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our incredible 1.17.1 Greek Protected Survival Server. Just updated to 1.17. Come play with us. It's an absolutely amazing server. You will love it. Go ahead and click this drop-down box here under Version, though, and find release 1.17.1-Forge. Right here it is for me. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but mine's right up here towards the top. Click on that. And then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't need to do that, but I'm doing it just so we can see once we get in game. The most important part of this screen is making sure it says 1.17.1-Forge under version. Go ahead and click create in the bottom right. Then we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile where if we hover over it, click the green play button, confirm that we're playing mod in Minecraft, and then click play again. Minecraft 1.17.1 will now open up with Forge installed. From this point, it's super easy to get just enough items. You might be like, I thought we were installing just enough items. We are. You have to go through all this Forge stuff to do the very simple process of installing just enough items. So basically, now we just sit back, relax, wait for Forge to open. I will meet you all on the Minecraft main menu to get just enough items installed. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. From here, we can go ahead and click on the Mods button. Now, if you don't have a Mods button, that means you didn't launch with Forge. So go back to the previous part of this tutorial, make sure you're launching with Forge, and then you'll have this Mods button here. Click on that, and then in the bottom left, we have the Open Mods folder button. Go ahead and click on Open Mods folder, and it will, of course, open our Mods folder right here, right like so. In this folder, we want to go ahead and take just enough items, JEI 1.17.1, and drag and drop it from the desktop into our Mods folder right like that. Now, once we do that, it will go ahead, and boom, there it is in our Mods folder. Computer's being a little weird with moving files today. Go ahead, drag and drop it over in the mods folder right like so. Boom. And then now we can go ahead and come back to Minecraft and it's not here. And it's not going to be here until you click done, quit the game, open up the Minecraft launcher again, right like so. And then in the Minecraft launcher here, we want to go ahead and make sure that Forge profile or the play.breakdowncraft.com profile is selected. As long as it says 1.17.1-Forge there, you are good to go. Click play. This time you most likely won't need to confirm, but if you do click play again, no worries. And now it's going to open up 1.17.1 with the incredible Just Enough Items mod installed. So let's go ahead and do a quick one final jump cut. Maybe there might be a few more in this video, but one final jump cut to prove the mods installed. You'll be able to see it in the mods tab here. So let's go ahead, meet you on the main menu. I'll show it in the mods tab. We'll check it out in game, and then we'll be done with this video. So here we are. Minecraft is now open. And if we go to the mods tab here, we'll be able to see Just Enough Items. There it is installed. Most importantly, though, we can jump into game, right? We can jump in game and actually see this in action. This mod is one of my favorites, bar none, simply because I suck at remembering crafting recipes. I forget them constantly. Now, as you can see here, I've went not responding. If that happens, just let it load through like you just saw. Not a big deal. That's mostly just because my computer is absolutely trash. So anyway, here we are loading into Minecraft and we can finally check this mod out. So once we got in game here, I immediately was blown up by a creeper and switched our game mode to survival, causing that to happen. You know, basically, I changed the game mode to the survival and, um, well, and instantly died. But we're not here to survive. We're here to hit E because once we hit E, we can see all of the beautiful crafting recipes that are here. So let's, for example, search up something like, I don't know. Well, actually, we can go to a bookshelf here. You can see here's the bookshelf. You can, by the way, click this uh, plus and it will add it to your crafting you know, section there. So, for example, if we get something that can be crafted on the player, let's go ahead and just give myself um, some coal, for example. Um, we'll give myself coal uh, 60, sure. And then we'll go ahead and give ourselves some sticks as well. So, if we do that, we will be able to, if we go in here to the Just Enough Items mod, we search for a torch. And then we go ahead and go, we want to make this torch, and we'd like to move the items. Boom, there we go. That is now there. I believe if you shift-click on that, yes, if you shift-click on that, it will make as many as you can uh, while still being in the crafting table there. So looking good. So one click basically adds in one item, and a shift-click adds in as many as you can make. But um, if you don't have an item, by the way, it's going to highlight that if you go to the plus button over here. Pretty cool stuff, and one of my favorite parts about this mod actually is that. Um, you can also go in here and get crafting recipes for truthfully anything. 
oxidized copper cut stairs. I have no clue how to get that. I have no clue how to get oxidized copper. I have no clue how to do that. And you can go through every single step to get there. You can also look for different methods up here at the top. For example, you can make it via stone cutting or crafting. It's up to you, right? So awesome stuff there. One of my favorite things about this mod. You can also go into the config and install FTB library. That's interesting that you didn't used to be the way. So you can install companion mod FTB library, which you can get by clicking on here. And then you're just gonna add that to the mods tab or the uh, mods folder and you'll be able to access that config in game. Otherwise you can actually access it through the, uh, you know, kind of back into the, uh, back into Minecraft, your dot Minecraft folder. You can find the config for just enough items in there and access it, but no worries by default, it pretty much works as it should. So there you have it. That is how you can download and install the Just Enough Items mod and start using it to craft different things in game. For example, glass. You smelt it and that's how you smelt sand and that's how you get glass, no matter what it is. Now for a lot of these, obviously for a vanilla Minecraft, it's not too crazy. Most people do know how to make most of these items, and if not, they are a quick Google search away. However, this can save you a bit of time not having to open up your web browser and do a Google search. However, the big thing comes whenever you um, whenever you get mods installed. So if you have 15, 20, 30 mods, well then this can really help make sure you figure out which mods are what. So nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.